This episode is brought to you by GameDeus, the god of artistic motion gaming. Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the forest. If you like the survival aspect of Minecraft, but you're looking for something a little more grown up, then you might enjoy playing The Forest. The Forest is a survival horror game that takes place in the woods after a plane crash. If you play the game solo, then you're just one man trying to survive the game alone. If you co-op, you're all the same man trying to survive together. But you're all the same man, so are you really alone? I'm confused. Hopefully, in an upcoming patch, they'll introduce new skins for co-op players. It's a little weird looking and talking to myself the whole game. Chop, chop, chop. But I gotta say, I do look fly in camo. Anyway, back to the survival part. Little do you know, but you should probably expect, you're not alone in the woods. There's creepy cannibals out to find you and eat you. One bite at a time. And if you don't make weapons or traps to keep them away, They'll get you. There's an entire survival book that helps guide you through the days and the nights. You can build shelters, traps, gardens, and weapons. Weapons can be upgraded in multiple different ways. For instance, you can use the teeth of your enemies to upgrade your attack. Yeah, I said teeth. And that's actually not the grossest part. I feel like this game was pretty easy to pick up thanks to my expertise in Minecraft. I already knew to start collecting things during the day so I could build up my fortress at night. Cannibals aren't as scary as creepers, but they're pretty darn close. Building shelters and stuff is actually pretty easy. You just open your book, click what you want, place it down, and then put resources in it as you gather them. Weapon crafting is a little bit tougher as you have to either look up the recipes or get lucky guessing. And although hunting for animals is rather humorous, it's a little bit hard if you don't have a bow. You have to swing your weapon in the right direction to kill the animal, and most of the time you miss. So I normally just result in eating berries. I had a ton of fun playing with Mike and Fabio, but with the three of us, we did feel rather accomplished pretty quickly. And we hit a point of, well, what do we do now? Obviously, we didn't accomplish half of what there is actually to do. But once you build a house and take out an entire mutant village, you're feeling pretty good about yourself. This game is constantly updating, and there's still actually an alpha, so I'm sure there's a lot of really great things still to come. Overall, I rate this game 16 severed cannibal heads. Rawr. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I hope that you did enjoy this, and if you would like to see the full gameplay, do go check it out on my channel, Brits Games. The link is down in the description box below. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching, bye. Hello, and let's do roll call. Let's make sure everyone's here. Okay, we have uh, Fabio, Hi. AKA uh, Camo Wonder, and then the Burtney <laughs> in there. And also, we are camo wonder. Yeah, we're all technically <laughs> the same person currently. There's creepy cannibals. Cannibal. <laughs> Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.